Hello again. Despite its being three, no, five days into September, here is the second half of my August blog. Here I am at um, Vista Village and I've discovered these beehives that are just below the bridge as you walk in. I think that's really lovely that they're making honey in such an <laughs> unashamedly commercial place. Vista Village is probably the UK's biggest outlet mall and it's just an hour north of London and I've come here to look for a dress for my daughter's Leavers event. She should have had a Leavers ball last summer 2020 but of course everything was cancelled because all the schools were closed because of the pandemic. So Vista Village now has a pre-love store called the Designer Exchange and of course I had to have a look didn't I? So I love that huge Lady Dior I just had on and this champagne shimmering boy bag. I'm not a huge fan of the boy bag but I thought in this colourway it was absolutely fantastic and was actually quite tempted but uh, I did refrain. They also had this Chanel reissue bag. Here it is on the longer chain setting. It was in the crushed or aged lambskin which I I don't particularly care for, but I do love the chain on this bag. I think it's worth it almost just for the chain. And the prices at this designer exchange, they were probably about 2,000 less than they would be in the shops. Well, one and a half thousand pounds less than they would be in the shop. I just think this chain is fantastic. And here it is on the shorter strap length as a shoulder bag, which I think was my favorite way of wearing this. It looks so classic though, doesn't it? They also had the business affinity in large, which would make the most fantastic work bag, I think. I really like this too, actually. So this designer exchange store at Bista is just a pop-up shop, but apparently it's doing so well that they're going to make it permanent, which would be brilliant because otherwise the nearest branch would be in London for me, or perhaps Birmingham, but London normally has uh, the bigger range of stock. So this would be fantastic. So as you can see, I left Bista with quite a haul. The Chanel books just happened to be on the bed and I left them there. So I got the Fendi bag and purse the same day I got the rest of this stuff and I've done a video on on the bag and the purse. So I've got this beautiful Etro jacket. I love Etro. They're an Italian brand that were founded, I think, in the 1980s uh, based on the owner's exquisite collection of antique shawls and their quality is just wonderful. These these buttons, the bindings on the jacket, I don't know, I think it's very Chanel. And the, um, look at all those band seams, so pretty. And the tweed is absolutely lovely. It was from their spring collection and I got it um, at the most incredible price. So that's their, their brand. You see the paisley design behind, they have the most gorgeous paisley scarves. And um, there, no, I, I just love the brand. Anyway, I got this. This was an absolute steal. I got it from the outlet and then it was also in the outlet sale. So I think I only paid, it was about 400. Actually, correction, I think it was 200. And then I found this um, this beautiful dress at the outlet also from Bash. It's B A and S H. And this was on sale, I think this was 180 or something, not on sale. Um, It was the the outlet price. But again, I love these these dresses that do up all the way through, button all the way through. And um, I'm going to wear it with this, with the jacket. They, funnily enough, they do look really nice together. So... I will show you when it's all on together. So I I, I had just the best day.
<laughs> you know how you can go out and sometimes not see a thing, then other times you can go out and you just everything you want, everything you see you want. Well, it was like that the day at the outlet. Yes, yeah, so see, really thrilled. Not quite the same colour, but separated by a dress, I think they'll be okay. So this was all set up for later, it was lunch first and then music and everything else after speeches. I snuck in to get pictures of the rooms where the lunch would be held because I knew I wouldn't be able to film once everything was in session. But they have restored this pink room to how it would have looked in the 18th century and it's quite beautiful. post-lunch speeches and all the rest of it and I've been really pleased with my bag and my shoes and the way that the whole outfit has worked out. So yeah, looking forward to the rest of it now. So closing a chapter, very sad in one way, but it was a lovely event. And then a few days later, we went to see my mother who lives in Cheshire. And uh, this is the home of one of her friends. We were invited for tea. And the house is actually pretty homely inside. Um, and I didn't want to take any pictures inside, but this is so quintessentially English. I couldn't resist sharing. The gardens are absolutely stunning with the church just beyond the wall and it's an Elizabethan stroke Jacobean house with stunning gardens. Funnily enough though, despite the beauty of the house, it's the stables which are of more architectural significance than the house itself. These were built, I think, in the mid 17th century and they are quite incredible. Pretty uncomfortable for the horses actually, they had to stand uh, tied in the stall and couldn't lie down. Um, but from an architectural perspective, quite fantastic, the magnificence. So that finally is it for August. Thank you for watching and I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.